وَتِلْكَ حُدُودُ اللَّهِ This ruling about not separating during the idda and staying together, these are the limits of Allah. Allah has set this as a limit for you to follow. وَمَنْ يَتَعَدَّ حُدُودَ اللَّهِ فَقَدْ ظَلَمَ نَفْسَهُ And whoever transgresses the limits that have been set by Allah, he, he oppresses his own self. It's dhulm. He's oppressing someone. He's oppressing himself. Here's the ta'leel ilahi. Here's the divine explanation of the wisdom of this ruling. لا تدري You don't know. لَعَلَّ اللَّهَ يُحْدِثُ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ أَمْرًا you don't know that perhaps Allah will change something and bring about some affair that you don't know of. Mankind has to remember that his Lord knows best. And that Allah Ta'ala has a plan and it may include for him that he spend his entire life with this woman that he is displeased with today. So let him have good thoughts about his Lord and say, my Lord legislated for me three months or an idda, whatever that idda is that's relevant to the woman I'm married to. He has legislated that for a very important reason. لا تدري, you don't know. لعل الله يحدث بعد ذلك أمرا That perhaps Allah will bring about a matter after that. Meaning something that you can't foresee. Something that you wouldn't predict. That's the first verse of Surah Talaq, of course. والله يعلم وأنتم La ta'lamun. Allah knows, but you don't know. Also, Allah Ta'ala commands His Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to ask the people this rhetorical question. Qul a'antum a'lamu amillah. Say to them, O Muhammad, are you more knowledgeable or is Allah? These verses are in Surah Baqarah, the 216th verse and the 140th verse. Reminders that we don't know all of these matters. So a man may be absolutely sure, I'm done, I do not want any more marriage with this woman. I am through, I'm done. And I am sure, absolutely, I want to move on with my life. So let her go back to her parents' house. Be patient. Be patient and trust in the legislation of Allah Ta'ala. You don't even know. La tadri. You don't know. What happens to people? They say, go to your parents, I'm done with you. And he divorces her like that, and she does her idda in her parents' house or in some other house, not his house. Then he separates from her, and he's done with her. And a couple years later, he says, she wasn't that bad. Maybe I should have given her that chance. What if she was still with me in the idda, and I would have seen something I liked? He starts doubting his decision. Whereas had he remained with her for three months, seeing her day in and day out. And let's say she loves him, and she wants to win over his affection, and she wants to reconcile, but he doesn't. So she has every opportunity to fix whatever that she has that's displeasing to him and trying to rectify the situation. Day in and day out, she's decorating herself, she's beautifying herself, she's trying to cook, she's trying to do things to bring them back together. And each and every day goes by and he is not interested. Three months for normal women with a menstrual cycle who are not pregnant, three menstrual cycles go by like this. Three moons go by. And at the end of it, he goes, this clearly shows and proves that I do not want this marriage. And he says at the end of her third period of cleanliness, then go to your parents' house. We are done. The contract is now over between us. He now can be sure. Like, I gave it every bit of trial that I could give it. I gave it every last chance. This is the last chance, right, that Allah Ta'ala advises us to uphold. I gave it all the last chances that Allah had legislated and nothing moved me to take her back, and so I didn't take her back. He can now, two years later, if he thinks about it, he can say, no, I'm very clear. I, was, I gave her every chance, and I just, I'm not happy with her, so I let her go. A nice way to be absolutely clear about the ending of the idda. Namak.